Hugh Edwards has been named as the BBC presenter at the centre of allegations over payments to a 17-year-old for sexually explicit images. It was the top BBC presenter's wife, Vicky Flynn, who announced the news as she revealed her husband was suffering from serious mental health issues and is receiving inpatient hospital care amid the claims. In a statement released on Wednesday evening, Ms Flynn said, In light of the recent reporting regarding the BBC presenter, I am making this statement on behalf of my husband Hugh Edwards, after what have been five extremely difficult days for our family. I am doing this primarily out of concern for his mental well-being and to protect our children. Hugh is suffering from serious mental health issues. As is well documented, he has been treated for severe depression in recent years. The events of the last few days have greatly worsened matters, he has suffered another serious episode and is now receiving inpatient hospital care where he'll stay for the foreseeable future. She said that once the BBC News at 10 presenter, who has worked for the BBC for four decades, was well enough. He intends to respond to the stories that have been published and added that her husband was first told that allegations had been made against him last Thursday. Like her husband Hugh, 61, Vicky also works in television and was previously the editor of the BBC's This Week. She then moved to ITV's rival politics show Beston, and also worked on Britain's next Prime Minister. Labour MP Jess Phillips shared her fierce support for her former colleague Vicky on Wednesday, taking to Twitter in response to the news. The politician wrote, Just coming on here to say that Vicky Flynn is by some distance one of the nicest, kindest and most decent women I've had the privilege to work with. Hugh and his wife live in South London together with their five grown-up children, believed to be aged between 18 and 24. Little is known about how long they have been married or how they met. Vicky's statement follows calls from fellow journalists and TV stars for the unnamed male BBC presenter to come forward after days of speculation. On Wednesday, the Metropolitan Police confirmed detectives from the Met's Specialist Crime Command have now concluded their assessment and have determined there is no information to indicate that a criminal offence has been committed. The statement reads, Detectives from the Met's Specialist Crime Command have now concluded their assessment and have determined there is no information to indicate that a criminal offence has been committed. In reaching this decision, they have spoken to a number of parties including the BBC and the alleged complainant and the alleged complainant's family, both via another police force. There is no further police action. As such, the Met has advised the BBC it can continue with its internal investigation. We are aware of media reporting of further allegations against the same individual. No specific details or information about these allegations have been passed to us and therefore there is no police action at this time. Should evidence of criminality or safeguarding issues be identified at any point we would expect matters to be referred to the relevant police force. A BBC spokesperson said, we have seen the statement from the police confirming they have completed their assessment and are not taking further action. We're grateful to them for completing this work at speed. The police had previously asked us to pause our fact-finding investigations and we will now move forward with that work, ensuring due process and a thorough assessment of the facts, whilst continuing to be mindful of our duty of care to all involved.
Take